Fromage fry. I think it's time for a pizza. This is an Iceland stone baked four cheese pizza. New improved recipe. Right, this is 360 grams worth. Have a look at that. So there is the ingredients with the allergens on. There's the nutritionals. What are the old cooking instructions? 14 minutes for fan, 180 degrees. Gas mark 7, 12 minutes. Right, there ain't really much else on there. How much did it cost for 360 grams? 165. So that's a sort of three quarter size pizza. Um, for 165, that's, that's cheap, isn't it? That's very... Um, good value. If this has got lots of flavour and texture, good good quality texture, this is going to be a steal at 165. Let's have a look at it before we uh, fire up the oven. Ooh, it's thicker than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard for what you'd expect for 165, but blimey, one pound sixty-five, and you're getting all that. Again, I'll say it again. I literally got to spit this out for this not to be worth the money. So, um, right, I think it's time to fire up the oven and get some pizza on the plate. Right, okay, guys, here it is. Here is the Iceland stone bake. Four cheese pizza. What do you reckon of that? That is, yeah, stone baked four cheese pizza. What are the cheeses? Let's have a look. What are the cheeses? Mozzarella. Monterey Jack. Coloured cheese. Cheddar cheese. Mm. Yeah, that look all right, that do. Now... I did do the, um, I have done the Iceland one pound pizza because all these supermarkets do a one pound pizza. And I have done that and that was a little bit of a disappointment. It didn't have a huge amount of taste, but one pound you can't complain, can you? But that one did have more flop than Who Grants Fringe. Now, I don't think this one has. I've just slid it off the bacon tray onto here, so I don't know if it's got flop or not. Shall we find out, Bobo? Right, has this got any flop? No. Not really. The other one was woo, 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 like that. To be honest, this is pretty good. This is how I like mine, to be fair. Just so there's just a little... You don't want them rock hard so they're just dead straight. Just a little bit of bounce in there. That's how I like mine. So straight away, this is looking good. There's the bottom. So it is different to the other one, the one pounder. This is slightly bigger as well. I think that one was about... I just watched the... Uh, a little bit of that just to get a comparison to see sizes and that that was i think 314 grams this is 360 wasn't it 360 365 360 the slightly bigger this one stone baked and this is one pound 65 now as this got a bit of taste the last one that did have taste in the cheese 
but not much in the sauce. Right, let's try it. Yeah, straight away. As soon as that I bit down on it, I could taste it. There's a bit of punch in that sauce. Lovely. That is good. He's quite a thin pizza. Yeah, pretty middle of the road, really. What you'd expect looking at it. You know, you look at that, you, you can sort of weigh up what it's got to be like, and that's pretty much bang on. I've got a fly in here, boo. Sort him out. Um, yeah, you just hope that that sauce has got a bit of flavour. And it has, so that's good. Right. Let's give it a score and evaluation. I'm gonna, uh, if you don't know, um, I don't know what order this is going out in. But I put a valuation, my valuation, as well as a score on the pizza or on the product I'm reviewing. Now, score wise, well, I suppose I ought to value it first, because that does dictate the score. So let's give it a valuation first. Now, £1.65 for this. This is an absolute bargain. I mean, what can you buy for one sixty-five now? Not a lot, can you? A bag of crisps? A lot of the time, a big old bag of crisps. We'll set you back about that much. So, it's, it's absolutely a bargain. So, it's got taste. Um, it's not silly flop on it is you know the construction of it the texture of it is pretty much what i would want in a pizza in this range bit of crunch on the crust yeah enough cheese on there it's ticking all the boxes what you'd expect from a pizza at that price so for me i i would value this I'd happily pay £2 for that. When you think of, I mean, this is three quarter, you go up, you go up another league, and you, you, you buy a, a 400, 440 gram pizza. And yes, the crust is a bit better. There's a little bit more going on with the cheese and that. Yeah, it is up another league, but you're, you're looking to pay £3.50 minimum for that. For a decent one. So 165 for me. Absolute bargain. Excuse me. I'd gladly pay £2 for this. Yeah, I would not complain, complain paying £2 for that. So for that reason, the fact it's got um, plenty of taste, flavour. The crust is pretty good. I think it's it's a uh, it is an eight point five. I always sort of lean into eight point five a lot because if it's pretty much down the middle, the price is good, the taste is good. It's not blowing my socks off. I'm not disappointed with it. It's an eight point five. So this is a classic eight point five for me. Yep. So there we are, guys. Right now, that is the last. Iceland pizza in my freezer so I need to get myself to Iceland again and uh, see what they've got I think there's some new range stuff come out so hopefully they've got a whole load more um, pizzas yeah 
Right, who's had this pizza? What do you think of it? Do you buy this pizza? I think for £1.65, that's, you know, I mean, you, you can't go wrong, can you? You seriously can't go wrong with that. Yeah, right, there we are, guys. Come on, Bobo. You know, he's a bit late here. Come on. We're about to line up to get the treats. Yes, yes, normally. His sixth sense has let him down. Right, there we are, guys. That is another pizza review. Thanks for watching. And I hope you'll join me in this one here. Boo Boo, the custard kid. Again soon on another video. Take care, guys. Now, what's going on, Boo Boo? Normally, you can sense when the end of the video's coming up. And you're going to get a treat. Especially with your big brother Bob down here. Oh, oh, we're getting low on Bob treats. They are bubbles. Cool, blimey. Right, now, four for you, Boo Boo. Yeah, there's four. Good boy. Bonjour, guys.